Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day already. And if not, then I hope it becomes fantastic. Now, I have a special super double treat for you all. I've got a fun knife in here to unbox. But before I unbox this one, I have to say thank you to my channel members. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you to my subscribers. You guys are awesome. You are amazing. And I'm going to answer... A tag challenge by Mattis Faction. If you haven't seen his channel on YouTube, go check out Mattis Faction. And here it is. The challenge was to show a fixed blade and a folder that are near and dear to your heart and irreplaceable. This was an easy one for me. Are you ready? Here's the fixed blade. It's a Case Double X Davy Crockett 1836 that I inherited from my grandfather. I, I'm not a big fixed blade guy, but this is one I inherited and I absolutely love it. It's not used to cut anything. It's a it's a wall hanger, and I grew up with this on the on the mantle at my grandpa's farm. And I took it down once and cut my thumb, sliced my thumb really good on it, and then I put it back. <laughs> and now it's mine. And look at there, it has Davy Crockett on the blade. And then if you look at his blade, he's on his blade. He's holding the same knife. Is that not cool? And man, that is a, I mean, that's a knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. That, there you, there's your knife right there. <laughs> so that was an easy choice for me. And then as far as the folder, very easy. The Kaiser Deviant for more than one reason. First of all, this was a Christmas gift for my wife. The first knife she ever bought me. And man, did she hit the nail on the head. I absolutely love this knife. It is my favorite. It is so smooth. She managed to pick out the most awesome knife for a gift. Can you imagine the pressure on her shoulders? She was so worried. And she checked out a, a video on Neve's Knives. Go check him out. I'm sure you already have heard of him. And she saw this one. She's like, yep, he's going to like that. So this, I mean, this knife is amazing. If you want to see the review on this, I'll put a little linky do up there. You can go check that out. But don't miss what's coming up right now because this is going to be a fun knife. Those are two knives that are definitely irreplaceable and very near and dear to my heart. And I challenge anyone else that has a channel. This is an open tag, open challenge. You, you'd go ahead and do the same thing. Show us the same. All right, let's get in here and check this one out. So this is going to be a fun knife. This is for fun, okay? We don't always have to be so serious. And, oh, that's this steel. And, oh, it's that. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. You know what? This is just for fun. A, a, a subscriber said, hey, can I send this to you? And I was like, you know what? Let's have some fun. Let's do it. So here we go. It's an Ethan Growl, and it's the EF upside down. <laughs> it's the EF 970, and this one's going to be fun. Are you ready? Let's get in here and check it out. When I saw the picture, I was like, is that a switchblade? Tell me that's not a switchblade. <laughs> I could definitely tell you this is not a knife like any that I've had on my channel. But you know what? This is going to be fun. So there's the box. You get this weird stretchy fabric. I don't know what it's made out of. And look at there. Would you look at it? It's black and red. So well, there's a plus already. I mean, you know, hey, 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 let's get in here and check it out. So here you go, the EF970. Now, you know what? This isn't my particular style, but then again, I haven't checked any out like this. I might end up liking it. And I can tell you right now, I like the texture on it. Oh, that's very nice. So here's this side. Ooh, man, that, that, that actually does look pretty cool. And you know, I get comments all the time. You know I'm easily excitable about knives. And this one feels solid. You know, in the picture, I was like, eh, maybe gimmicky. But it feels pretty solid. We have a pocket clip. It's not deep carry, which with this style of knife, I don't think you would want to be digging in your pockets. You would want to be able to pull it out of your pocket. So you ready to see the blade? Let's see the blade. Whoosh. Oh, now that is wicked looking. That is pretty wicked. I mean, this kind of reminds me of Spider-Man a little bit. They have a couple different versions. They have this, the black, and then you can also get the tan. The tan of black, I believe it is. I'll put pictures. You've probably already seen them, but... That's not too bad. And I know a lot of people, this is your style of knife and you use them for different reasons. And you know what? Real quick, I'm going to get the specs and we'll do them in less than 60 seconds. Okay, we're going to get the weight. You know what? I thought this, it kind of looked toyish a little bit when I looked at it online. It feels solid. I'm going to go with, uh, let's go, I'm going to go 5.2. And it is 5.44. <laughs> I was a little off. Yeah, it has some heft to it. 
So we'll run through these specs in less than 60 seconds and get to all the fun stuff. So your total length's 8.91 inches. Your blade is a spear point D2 black stone wash. Your total blade length's 3.86 inches. Your sharpened blade length's 3.75 inches. Your blade width's 0.75 inches. And your blade stock right up here at the base is 141 thousandths, or the Ricasso. And it, right here in the middle of the blade, it's 120 thousandths of an inch. Your thickness behind the edge is 43 thousandths of an inch because you only have from here to here to head down to your bevel, right? So your handle material for this is G10, which is very nice. I love the texture on this G10. And your clothes length from tip to tip is 5.04 inches. Your handle width is 0.83 inches. And your clothes width is the same because the blade doesn't even stick out. Your handle thickness is 0.55 inches. Your opening method is a flipper. And this is a liner lock. It's a right side tip up. And it's T6s all the way across. No T8s. But you know, for 20, this is uh, like 27 bucks. And you can get it the two different colors. 27 bucks, eh, I'll take it. You know, I, I'm not going to hate on it. And this is the model EF970. Did it come sharp? Let's see if it came sharp out of the box. Whoa! Yes! So, you know, this knife is, is turning out to be more than I expected. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I keep hitting a hang up right here. I think it's because I ripped the paper. But yeah, it's, it's got a nice edge on it. Just double check and let me see here. You know what? It does. It has a rough spot right there. I don't know if we're going to be able to show that, but there's a rough spot right there. And that's where it was catching. Looks like it got it hit something or banged up on something. So that's something I could probably strop out or maybe have to do a little honing. But that's why we were catching. And while we're at it, we'll just go ahead and check out the fit and finish. Let's start from one end and go to the other. Now, I know there are a ton of people that really enjoy and like this blade style. I'm not super familiar with the spear points, but it does have a nice, it has a nice black uh, stone wash going on right there. And the grind is pretty good. It just right here, it's like it, it's like it clanged against something. I don't know if it just clanged against another knife at the factory, but the finish looks really nice on it. And then you have this brushed stainless right here. This is, this really surprises me. A T6 and a pivot. I don't know if I've ever seen a knife with a T6 and the pivot. It's possible. I mean, these look bigger, but they're T6 also. But here's a texture vision for you. It has some nice texture going on. You know, this is a fun knife. This is a pokey, stabby knife. You can use it to open packages, open bags of concrete. You have a spot for your lanyard hole there. And look at on the inside. It is not milled out, so it is it is solid liners. I mean, it feels solid. We'll check out all the ergos and all that good stuff here in just a minute. Going all the way around. This is going to be super easy to clean out, depending on what you're using it using it for. But yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. Um, how about, let's see, how about the, the blade? Are we centered? Yes. And look at that tip. That tip's not messing around. You're not going to break that tip off poking it into stuff. That is not messing around at all. And how about lockup? What's our lockup look like? Really good lockup. We're like 60% on the lockup. So that's pretty impressive. Okay. How we, uh, let me, uh, let me see. Nah, I don't need to back out. Left and right, up and down. It is rock solid. And how about in the, in and out of the pocket? It's a little rough in and out of the pocket because this, this G10 has a lot of texture. So it was like, <laughs> So it is not going to come out of your pocket easy. You're going to have, you're actually fortunate you have some area right here to pull it out with. You can hang upside down and from a tree and this is not going to fall out of your pocket. So some quick size comparisons. Here is the Civivi Brazen. Love this knife. And the Brazen's kind of a slender, more slenderish knife. So yeah, it's definitely got the, it's got it beat on that, but you know, it doesn't have a wide handle this way. So it does help that it's a little thick and these ergos I think are going to be really good. So are you ready? Let's do some quick size comparisons and see if we have some other knives that look like this or, you know, if this is your blade style, this is going to be right up your alley for the price. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and throw some popular ones up. Here's the Spyderco Para, Paramilitary 2. Eh, let me get her all centered up here. We'll do pivot to pivot. And this is one you have to have. You have to get you a QSP Penguin. There's the QSP Penguin. So this is not messing around. And if most of my knives have a short handle for you, you're not going to have a problem with this. And I can already tell. Here's the Petrified PF949. Uh, yes, the Petrified Fish PF949. I really like this one. Nice full-size blade, big handle on it. And here's the Petrified Fish Zebro. 
that zero. How about that? Look at that. I mean, this knife is not messing around lengthwise. And how about the Kubi Darkness? Ooh. You know, that's two kind of wicked looking blades right there. And here's the Artisan Serious. And you know me, I'm not always that serious. We're not being serious. We're just having fun today with this cool knife. And I'm going to put this one. I'm looking for the longer knives that I have. Here's the Honey Badger Worn Cleaver. And it is longer than the Worn Cleaver. Holy moly. So if you have big hands, you're set. You're set. And here's the brazen up next to it. And I'm going to do a couple more. Here is a big boy, the Sativian ST117. Since we're messing around and having some fun with some crazy knives, crazy blades, look at that. That, I mean, this is a big boy. I know a couple of you have this one. And here, look at this. Look at this EF right here. I don't even remember the number. It's like the 941. You know, it'll be up on your screen right now. This is These two are the only two that really compete with the size. And look at that crazy, crazy, crazy blade. Now we'll check out the fun stuff, the deployment, and the fidget factor, and the ergos, and all that good stuff. And before we do, real quick, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button, and select all. That way you won't miss what's coming up on B's Blades. And every Friday night is bees blades live at the hive oh right you don't want to miss it because you know we give away so much stuff that's not why you want to go but it's definitely a perk it's definitely fun it's fun for me so let's see let's do the old light the light switch this thing okay here's my question is a switch blade faster than this knife i really don't think so i don't think so here's the push button it doesn't get any faster can it be faster look just pushing down snap and you know what? It's easy to disengage. There's not a pass through. But if you can see here, it's just sticking up. I'm not having to dig my finger. If I was, I would tell you. It's a real easy disengagement. So I appreciate that. This is not bad. I am thoroughly impressed. I did not think this knife would be this cool. But look at this. <laughs> okay, so here's something I noticed. It could use some jimping up here. So I didn't commit and I just put my finger up top and it slipped off the top. So there's no jimping. It needs some jimping. I like jimp, jimp, jimps on my flip, flip, flips. How about left handed? Pow, right in the kisser. Pow, right in the kisser. So yeah, the action is absolutely phenomenal. Now my hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And... Here is your ergos. Back out for you so you can see the knife. Look at that. If your hands are way bigger than mine, and I know a lot of you have bigger hands, smaller hands, you know the size of my hands. You have handle for days. I mean, for days. And this is a comfortable grip. There's, uh, you know, the pocket clip's not bothering me. Let me see. I mean, I'm not familiar with this style of knife and this handle, but holding it back here like this and putting my thumb up here behind the flipper... It's actually pretty comfortable. And th this is not going to be a slicer. It's not made for slicing. This is more of a piercing knife. So if you open a lot of bags of things, this is going to be, I mean, this is going to be great. Just whoop, or whoop. yes, definitely a <laughs> little swing, swing. But yeah, this is going to definitely poke. And I don't know. I mean, there's uh, certain other uses that people use for blades like this. And see there, I tend to want to turn it around backwards. I'm not used to that. That side is sharp, and you can see the sharpened edge. I'm not used to holding knives in this grip, but you sure, certainly could to rip open bags and things. And it's going to it's going to definitely be a poker and a stabber into products. <laughs> but as far as fidget factor, you know, you can fidget with it. It has really good action. The blade is not heavy. This part down here is the heavy part, but it is solid. I mean, it is solid as a rock. There's there is no toy factor. This is all tool. I, you know, there's a lot of people that are going to enjoy a knife like this. I, I think it's pretty cool. This is a fun knife, and especially for the price. You know, I mean, it's a beater. You can have it, have it in your truck. You can have it in the toolbox. I think it's pretty cool, and it looks neat. I like the black and red, but this is a fun knife. If you guys and gals want to see more fun knives every once in a while, let me know. You know, and if you want to send one to the channel, you know, let me know first. I'll let you know if I'm willing to risk it. <laughs> 
<laughs> and show it, you know, but if you guys really do want to see the disassembly, I can come back and disassemble this one, but this is just, you know, more for fun, and for those of you that are really into this blade style, tell me about it. I want to learn, what are the different uses for knives like this? What do you use them for? I know it, this would definitely be one heck of a letter opener. I mean, pop pop this out at the office. I don't think that would go over well, depending on what kind of office you work at. Construction site, be like, oh yeah, Jim, let me open that letter. Swing! <laughs> <laughs> but let me th let me know what you think. You know, was this fun? Did you enjoy it? What'd you think about the two big knives that I showed? Well, they won't both they weren't both big, but the one I got from my grandpa and then my most cherished knife that I got for my wife. Really love this, the Kaiser Deviant, and there's this one. So, was that fun? Did you did you enjoy yourself? But until I see you again and talk to you again, remember to live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself. <laughs>